Hi guys, so welcome back to the IT and psychology YouTube channel. Today we are going to start with inserting audio and video in HTML5. यहाँ पढ़ेंगे कैसे एक HTML वेब पेज में हम एक ऑडियो फाइल या वीडियो फाइल इंसर्ट करते हैं सो वी स्टार्ट विद एच टी एम एल फाइव न्यू स्पेसिफिकेशन एनेबल्स यूजर्स टू हैव अ फार मोर कंट्रोल ओवर ऑडियो ऑन वेब पेजेस सो दिस गिव अस एक्सेस टू एक्चुअली ऑल्टरिंग आर वेब पेज इन मच बेटर वेज एच टी एम एल फाइव फीचर्स इंक्लूड नेटिव ऑडियो एंड वीडियो सपोर्ट विदाउट द नीड फॉर फ्लैश HTML5 includes special elements that are tagged allowing to include video and audio and to define controls that uh, we define controls as play pause or uh, the fast forward button here we have some common audio formats the first one being mp3 an audio format from mpeg that is moving or motion pictures experts group next one we have here is aac dot uh, yeah advanced audio coding standard format for an iphone youtube and etc next we have here is ogg an open container and free audio format so these are the common audio formats that we are going to be inputting into our HTML5 web page. Next, we have here are the details about the audio tag. The audio element enables you to embed or add or or you can say insert audio files on your web pages. Declare the audio tag and specify this the source attribute with the audio file audio files location. Here we have the file name. and the, the src tag showing the source and the type that we we have learned above the here it is mpeg and here the tag has been closed next we have here are attributes of the audio tag so the first attribute is autoplay here the values are not given the description has been provided the audio will start playing as soon as it is ready so as soon as you load your page the audio file will take a very small amount of time to load and as soon as it loads auto play will come into action and it will play the audio file the next attribute we have here is controls controls has been described as like we have learned here that these uh, uh, this function helps us insert audio files here we had learned how to define controls here the attribute controls has been described as well the audio control should be displayed like that that is play pause button and etc loop the values for this is value yeah so the description given here is the audio will start over again and again every time it is finished next one next attribute we have here is muted so this actually this explains itself but the description reads out as this specifies that the audio output should be muted the next attribute we have here is src source the values for this is the url specifies the url or the audio file example a solid example has been provided please test it out on your web page the next one we have here is the description of the previous code that has been provided to us in the example the controls attribute is used to add audio controls such as play pause and volume the source element is used to specify the audio files which the browser may use next we have here are multiple sources of adding audio through which you can add audio multiple sources of audios are specified so that if the browser is unable to play the first source then it will automatically automatically jump to the second source source tag 
the source tag is used to specify multiple data resources multiple media resources for the media elements यहाँ पे एक सॉल्ड एग्जांपल दिया हुआ है आप प्लीज अपने वेब पेज पे ये इंसर्ट करके देखिए ताकि आपको इसका यूज मालूम पड़े कि कैसे हम इसको यूज कर सकते हैं वेब पेज में बिकॉज अगर आप इसका प्रैक्टिकल यूज समझ जाएंगे तभी आप बोर्ड में इसको लिख पाएंगे वीडियो टैग द एच टी एम एल वीडियो टैग इज यूज टू एम्बेड वीडियो इन टू Your web page it has several video sources. There are diff three different types or three different formats, as you may, that are commonly supported by web browsers: MP4, OGG, and .webm. The syntax given here is first will be given with the video source, URL being the value, and next the controls and the tag is closed. the attrib the various attributes given to us are the first one being src the url this defines the link to the video file autoplay this specifies that the video will start playing as soon as it is ready so this is also self -expl explanatory uh, next we have controls the description given to us is that this specifies that the video control should be displayed such as play pause button etc the volume button as well height the attribute height is given in the values that are pixels this sets the height of the video player loop loop is the uh, loops values gives us how many times the video has to be played again and again in a loop this specifies that the video will start over again and again every time it is finished muted this specifies that the audio output of the video should be muted next attribute we have here is poster this the value for this is, values for this is url the description given here is that this specifies an image to be shown while the video is downloading or until the user hits the play button so this actually acts as a thumbnail the next one given here is preload the first uh, it has three different values the first one being auto second one being meta data the third one being none this specifies if the if and how the author thinks the video should be loaded when the web page loads with the, this attribute explain uh, explains how we have to set the width of the video player the value for this is in pixels the source tag is used to specify multiple media resources for video as well as audio media elements there is, uh, we have been provided with a, a solved example please check this out as well uh, you can play any video that is on your device using your uh, yeah the url image map in html an image map with multiple hyperlinks is called an image map image map is used to connect links to different regions on the web page an image map is created by marking certain regions on an image clickable these clickable regions are called as hotspots image maps are of two different types client side and server side we will confine only to client side image map the tags used to define client side image maps are img it is used to insert an image on a web page to create a client side image map use map attribute of img is used with the value which is preceded with a hash symbol the use map attri attribute acts as a pointer which indicate indicates that the image is a client side image map the second one map it has only one attribute name it specifies name of the image used for client side image map the value of the name attribute is the value specified in use map attribute of img third one given here is area 
it defines specific clickable regions a given map element can contain multiple area elements within it area is a singular tag and map is paired here we have been provided with different attributes of area tag so the first attribute given here is href this defines the url to which the clickable region within the image map navigates the next one given here is shape it can value rectangle uh, rect circle or poly the the chords attribute is described as this specifies the coordinates of the clickable regions on the image map rect specifies the rectangular area with four coordinates define uh, the circle defines a circle circular region it requires three coordinates poly this defines a polygon region with coordinates specifying each point on the polygon it requires four coordinates default gives us the region that covers the entire image no coordinates are required for this one the next attribute we have here is alt this specifies extra information about the clickable area it is the alternative text to the clickable region next we have here an example for image map with the with the use of the element map and area please do check this out and try solving it on on your web page to get the proper to get to know how it is properly used so that you can write it in the board exams properly uh, and before we continue please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you and if you have any doubts pertaining these topics please contact me on the telegram group that has been mentioned in the description of this video thank you uh, next we have here is inline frame in html5 the iframe element creates an inline frame inline frames are often used in online advertising where the contents of the iframe is an advertisement from an external party html5 the incorporation sorry allows the incorporation to be seamless no scroll bars borders margins and etc the attributes of iframe are being have been given here the first attribute being src whose values are url this specifies the address of the document to embed in the iframe tag the next one we have here is height the values of height are in pixel this specifies the height of an iframe tag next we have here is the width attribute the values for this are in pixels the description given here is that this specifies the width of an iframe name the name attribute is given here and the values for this are in text the description given here is that this specifies the name of an iframe src doc the values for this are html underscore code this specifies the HTML content of the page to show in the iframe. The sort a solved example has been provided here. Please check this out and write it on your uh, write this code on your web page or a new one, in fact, so that you get to know how uh, the iframe tags should be used. Here we have website hosting as our next subtopic. In this chapter, we have seen how to create a website, but just creating a website is not sufficient. One has to make the website available on the internet. These web pages are to be stored in the web servers that are connected to the internet to be made available to others or a target audience. What is web hosting? Web hosting is the service of providing storage space. The website is made available on the internet with the help of web hosting. What is web hosting? The companies that provide web hosting services are called web hosts. Web hosts own and manage web servers. These web servers offer uninterrupted internet connectivity. There are 
three different types of web hosting that have been given here. The first one being shared hosting. It is cost effective. It gives the domain name to your website. Free hosting. There are some hosting websites which provide you free hosting of the website for a limited period of time. The third one being dedicated hosting. These are paid uh, hosting servers for large websites. Note, you can buy your own web server space, but it is the most expensive way to publish your website. Though it is very expensive, but it gives you a lot of control over your website. Here is some, inf here is some data for information purpose only. Please go through this as this is important too. And a summary of our cha of the chapter has been given here. Please go through this in time of revision. And uh, we shall end here. Thank you for being a lovely audience. Uh, click the bell icon to get the up future updates. Tomorrow I will be up uh, uploading the video for the exercise of this chapter. So thank you for watching this. Good day.